All right, hello everybody on YouTube. Today we're gonna be answering the question that you uh, have all surely been asking, which is how quickly can you beat Bloodborne if you were to play as the boss, Garmin? Now this is a mod made by a guy named First Hunter Apprentice who pretty much transferred the movesets from the boss to the player character. And because of that, we get one move from Garmin, which is really really overpowered which is the move where he jumps in the air so don't mind the fact that we have uh you know 10 million blood echoes right now we uh we need some blood echoes to be able to buy the weapon because the mod creator made it cost like 150,000 souls for blood echoes so uh, we just we have we have a little bit of a character set up here, but it's it's fine. Oh gosh, I do not want to. So if I want to sprint like a normal character, I need to put my my fists together. I need to two-hand my fists. Which is why you can see I just started walking there. So how quickly do you guys think we're gonna beat this run? What do you think, chat? Two. 20 minutes. It'll definitely be sub 30. It's gotta be, it's gotta be faster than that though. Okay, so now we've got Garmin's Burial Blade. Which is the tool to going fast. Garmin would actually be the best speedrunner in Bloodborne. Not sure if any bo other boss would even be... <laughs> would be better. Unfortunately, I'm on a hard drive, so excuse the extremely slow loading times. Alright, so the reason Garmin is so strong is because he can jump very high in the air. And because of that, we don't have to, uh... We don't have to worry about gates or walls. Oh, that was close. Garmin almost just took a tumble. So we're going to take a little trip to the Forbidden Woods to get an item that normally is completely useless and is never picked up in any speedrun of Bloodborne ever. But, you know, because we are Garmin, this is actually a little useful for us. Keep eye framing the poison by dodging. The eye frames on this dodge are so strong. So we're gonna talk to this dude here. If I can talk to him, there we go. We've got the key to speed. The tonsil stone. The loading times are actually making this run so much longer. <laughs> oh man. Wish I had an SSD on this PlayStation. Alright, so we're just gonna jump over this gate as well. Airman's got places to be. Uh, 
so this this is a little scary to do hopefully hopefully we can do this without too much to do no it's ruined that is so much time loss well it's it's not in-game time loss but it's so much real time loss oh my goodness Germans, he walks so slow. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We can, we can, we can manage. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Do the intro again. I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do it. Well, there, we're not going to be getting a record. This, this, this is like the most random just meme run ever. It's... <laughs> All right, just get down there, Garman. There you go, buddy. So the game takes a little while to catch up, but you know, it's fine. Garman's just too fast. Now we're, we're getting to the first boss of the run, Mr. Gascoigne himself. And we're just gonna, you know, we we don't have time for gas going, so we're just gonna we're just gonna see. Right. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, normally you would have to kill Blood Starved Beast or Cleric Beast to get anywhere at this point, but we're Garmin, so we're just gonna go up on this ledge. And make our way up on here. And we're, uh, we're through. Stuck. Gas going. Gas going is uh, he's trying his best. All right. And so the whole reason that we picked up the tonsil stone is to do something here. Now there's an amygdala here. And if this amygdala grabs you, it teleports you to a very late game location, the lecture building. Now, normally, did I just die there? I don't, no, I don't think so. Um, that was that was really low health. No, I was I had pretty good health. No, we're okay. So, anyways, this is a very late game location, but normally you you can't get to the upper floor, which is how you get to the late game. Now, because we're Garman, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, jump, you know, jump up. Now, uh, now we're gonna go say hi to Mikolash. And if I was on an SSD, we would be like seven minutes in right now. Unfortunately, there is no way that I know of to let Mikolash live. I haven't really done that much testing with uh, with Garmin yet, but 
As far as we can tell, Mikolaj does seem to be required. Well, this is a mod, so don't... <laughs> this, this is not anything that you'll normally see. You are not meant to be able to play it, Scare. dash into the, the hole. Well, I have an SSD on one of my PS4 Pros, but not this one, unfortunately. Okay, we're 11 minutes in. We're making pretty good pace. So, Garman has the ability to do his AoE as well, which we can use to damage Mr. Mikolash. Thankfully. These puppets are actually very scary, though. So we're just gonna, we're gonna get in front of him, because he's, he's a little slow. goes. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! Majestic! Majestic. Wait, where'd he go? What's happening? Miko! What? Wait, where is he? He's gone! Is he gone? What the heck is happening? What? What? He's in the wall! My AoE is not working! I'm out of juice!
I'm all out of juice. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have... Oh, God! I think I need my weapon to do it. Where'd he go? What? Dude! Miko, my man! Oh, we got we got a, we are doing a speed run, Miko. Oh boy. Okay. He made it through. All right. So this is what was supposed to happen. He was supposed to be here, and we can just, you know, block him, because he's really slow. Unfortunately, this mod makes every NPC in the game very old and frail. It's fine, guys. <laughs> what a speed run. I'm killing it. It's still going to be like 20 minutes. If this was on an SSD and me and I didn't and Miko didn't get stuck in the wall, I think we probably would have you could probably do this in like 15 minutes. <laughs> We're just gonna keep uh, keep hitting her with our jump attack here. It's a very strong one. Oh, that actually almost hit me. That was close. I almost just died, I think. I, I can't hit her! <laughs> oh my gosh. There's other attacks, but this does by far the most damage. Well, if it actually hits the boss. 
But yeah, you have the full move set. I know this mod, like this video, is not really showing off the full uh, extent of the mod, but. I did a full run, you know, just experimenting with the, the weapon before. Nice. Yeah, I did a full all bosses run using this weapon and the the gun i guess i can show off some of the moveset while we wait here but yeah you get the full moveset from garman including his gun oh shoot all right guys this is gonna be like 20 21 minutes <laughs> my goodness you be from farewell fear we've done it 21 minute speed run <laughs> garman kills garman <laughs> world record It is really cool that you can actually just skip Shadows, Rom, and <laughs> and Reborn. I dream of the day that we can actually do that skip in like a legit way. I think this cutscene counts towards in game time, so maybe I should have skipped it, but that's okay. This is legit, yeah. Very legit run that we just did here. Super jump to wet nurse before Miko. There might honestly be a way, but... Would be very... Very complicated, I imagine. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Hey, Kakuka, thank you for the four-year resub. All right, we'll quit out and check the in-game time. <laughs> I guess, just because just why not? Good. Man, load times in this game are really brutal. On hard drive, that is. Twenty-one forty-seven. Oh look, <laughs> that's because we watched the cutscene. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, this mod came out like two days ago, I think. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, I will put a link to the mod in the description of the video in case anybody wants to try it themselves. You do need a jailbroken